Hey, industrial designers, we couldn't forget about you, and we didn't. I'm Brandon Lewis with Embedding Convening Design, and this week we're going to be going over Infineon's iMotion Module Application Design Kit. So Infineon's uh, iMotion Modular Application Design Kit is a three-phase motor drive evaluation platform and it's really great for people who are working on either the control or the power subsystems of an industrial motor drive. One of the big features here is that it's scalable and it allows you to evaluate uh, power systems anywhere from 20 watts up to 1.5 kilowatts. So the way that you take advantage of that scalability is through this M1 interface here, and this is a control board. Um, there are a couple of different types of control boards you can use with the MADK uh, development platform, uh, but this interface is in with a range of power boards. So these power modules plug in, and that's how you achieve between 20 watts and 1.5 kilowatts to rapidly prototype any motor drive design. And along with the kit, you also get access to a bunch of software and tools. You can easily plug in an oscilloscope uh, for measurement and debug purposes. So it's a really awesome way to look at uh, what the requirements of the system you're trying to build are over a scalable range of uh, power profiles. And Vinian even says that you can get a motor up and running in less than an hour using the iMotion MADK development kit. So there's also uh, an onboard debug interface and you can really fine tune control um, on the MADK platform on this controller board here using tools like MCE Designer and MCE Wizard. There's also firmware available for the actual controller on this control board that you're able to access off online when you get this kit. A couple of the other tools that are available when you're using a tool like the uh, MADK are the IPM uh, motor drive simulation tool and the SIP OSIM uh, power simulation tool. Um, so there's plenty of software out there to help you keep moving through uh, your prototyping process uh, even as you're scaling up from that smallest uh, 20 watt uh, board all the way up to over a kilowatt. So again, on the way out, a bunch of key features of this are the ability to drive a three-phase motor, support for 230 volt or 120 volt voltage grids, like I've said multiple times now, a ton of different boards. It's, uh, I can't even count how many different uh, power boards are compatible with this and, and one or two of the other control boards. Um, and then the M1 and M3 interface here on the uh, MADK uh, that lets you plug in a bunch of different of those different boards and also the debug options. Uh, so a really good way to get up and running really fast with a motor uh, drive solution. Obviously some of the applications here, fans, pumps, brushless DC motors, compressors, um, and for this control board, which is the Eval 101M, hold on, Eval M1101T, gotta love all of those crazy SKUs. You can get this online from uh, Infineon or other distributors, electronic sports distributors, for 77 and a little bit of change, so $77 and I think 20, 25 cents. But as always, if you're interested in getting your hands on this one in particular, uh, you can either go watch on YouTube and look in the description uh, below where you'll find a link to the form, or if you're, look, if you're watching this video on embedded computing design, as always, the registration form for the raffle is right down there. So we'll be raffling it off this week. And that's pretty much it. I told you industrial designers we weren't gonna forget about you. Um, and we will continue to bring uh, development kits out that are applicable to a range of markets. Anyway, we'll catch you next week. And thanks for watching.